Yo, 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 YouTube, what is up, man? It's your boy, damn D, POV, and we are back with another video. Now, let me explain this video before I play it, right? Now, this video that you see on the screen, this was a video that I previously recorded before, um, you know, Self Talk dropped his video about me and said what he had to say about Kwame Brown, right? This was before, okay? I was going to actually post this video that you see right now. I was actually going to post this video. I think I was going to try to post it Sunday, but Sunday I was busy, you know, Sunday, fun day out and about, you know what I'm saying? Going to brunch and stuff like that. So I, I didn't really have time. So I was actually going to post this Sunday, right? And as you see, this is, this is a video that I previously recorded just Look at the clues, right? I have a goatee now. In this video that you see right here, I have a full beard, all right? So obviously, I made this video. Um, actually, it says it right here. Hold on. I gotta tell you exactly when I made this video. Uh, it says, hold on. It says right here on the 12th. You see it right here. It says on the 12th. So this was actually made five days ago. Okay. This, this video was made five days ago. So I don't want anybody to think that this is Kwame Brown responding back to what's currently going on. Okay. Let me repeat that again. This video is not Kwame Brown responding to the current situation that's going on right now. Because I can even prove that to you again, right? Because I know some of y'all don't pay attention to clues, but let me let me put y'all on game, okay? To to let y'all know that this was previously recorded and Kwame Brown is saying what he said before all this stuff happened about self-talk, right? <laughs> Check this out. This was, the video that I'm about to play was a reaction to his live stream 10 days ago, okay? Look, this is the video that I um, used to make my reaction, okay? Do you see Kwame Brown's clothes? Okay, you see his clothes? That's the same clothes right here, okay? It's, it's, it's the same outfit, all right? So that should let you know that Kwame Brown is not talking about what's going on currently, all right? This is not a current response to self-talk, all right? I, I, I don't want to get that confused because I know how some of y'all, you know, y'all just don't play it. <laughs> y'all don't pay attention. But this video that I reacted to was Kwame Brown's stream 10 days ago. This was a week ago, all right? But it's just funny how everything is played along right because i was supposed to post this video and highlight that kwame brown is trying to help self-talk right in this video you're gonna hear kwame brown still trying to help self-talk and try to give him some advice but now we know how self-talk really feels about you know me and kwame brown and other people right so it's just crazy how things work because I was supposed to play this video. I was supposed to post this video, I think either like Saturday or Sunday, but I got busy doing other stuff and I just never posted it. And I was going through my files. I was like, yo, I was supposed to post this video. But now, you know, self-talk is jumping out the window, making videos about me, trying to, you know, stir up some beef. But it's crazy how... Self-talk is trying to stir up some beef. And in this video, Kwame Brown is trying to help self-talk and telling him to stay out the beef. Funny how things work out, right? Let me play this video. Yo, 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 what is up, man? It's your boy, damn DPOB. And if you're new to the channel, if you're new to the channel, if you're new to the channel, hit that like button. And if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you kindly. <laughs> now, salute to the homie Kwame Brown. Salute to the homie, the homie Kwame Brown. And um, I was just going back and 
re re rewatch it. What the what the uh, shit? God damn, let me turn this down a little bit. Sheesh. I was going back and re re rewatching. Get your words out, dumbass. <laughs> re re watching. <laughs> Why can I not say that word? I don't know. Say that three times fast. Rewatching, rewatching. Get re your words out, dumbass. Rewatch. Re <laughs> I was watching, okay? I was watching some of uh, Kwame Brown's live stream um, that I missed. And I want to highlight this section because it seemed like he had a message for um, self-talk. Now, you know, I I don't have no personal issue with, with self-talk at all. So self-talk, if you're watching this, I don't have no personal issue with you. Even though I seen you took shots at me and you made a little video. It, cool, 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 cool. I don't have no personal beef with you. Now, now keep in mind, this was before he made his dedicated video about me. But I knew Self Talk been throwing shots at me for a long time. But I'm like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not about to beef with a Self Talk. Like, well, I'm not about to go back and forth with a Self Talk. So this was before Self Talk made that video about me trying to expose me when you really didn't expose me you really expose yourself and people people really see who self-talk is now so which is unfortunate but it is what it is so while self-talk tried to expose me self-talk you really expose yourself but like i said this was before he made that video it's crazy how things uh how things happen right hope you do well hope you you know what i mean go look look i'm 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 saying in this video that i don't have no beef with self-talk i'm i'm literally saying i don't have no beef with self-talk but it's not but it seems like self-talk wants to create beef with you with you even though i seen you took shots at me and you may i i don't have no personal issue with with self-talk at all so self-talk if you're watching this I don't have no personal issue with you, even though I seen you took shots at me and you made a little video. It, cool, 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 cool. I don't have no personal beef with you. Hope you do well. Hope you, you know what I mean, go do your thing. It's all good in the hood with me, you know what I'm saying? I'm not taking no shots at you. It just, it, uh, I'm just not, you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't have no personal beef with you at all. But I just want to highlight this section in Kwame Brown's live stream when he was mentioning about the whole self-talk situation. So I don't know if some of y'all caught this because I didn't catch it. Um, I think during this live stream, I caught the end of the live stream and I didn't watch the beginning. So I, so I went back and listened to the beginning and I was like, oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't hear this part. So I just want to highlight this part and uh, let's get into it, man. Salute to Kwame Brown once again. Let's get it. Most of these celebrities don't give a fuck about you. Facts. And self-talk, self-talk, self-talk. I just emailed you. Let me explain something to you, self-talk. Here's the reason why I never wanted to meet you, self-talk. Because you're very good at what you do, self-talk. And if you notice, what the enemy does is they contact everybody that they think is around this person. Right. Everybody is judging me off of what somebody else said, what somebody else did around me. They don't judge what I do. They ain't talking to me. They gotta make up some shit and lie on me. But I understood this already. Kind of gave you the playbook. <coughs> so self-talk, <coughs> you're very good at editing. <coughs> and the, my words mixed with your editing uh, excuse me. is really affecting someone's bottom line. <coughs> so my message <coughs> to you is, Fuck. and I know it. Get yourself together, nigga! What the hell wrong with you? Stop calling! And it's sniffing and shit, you crackhead. <laughs> you get frustrated because people who you may think follow me as soon as I say something, because I should have been able to say, This is what was told to me, and allegedly this happened, and it shouldn't have been taken so serious. I should be able to speak because words mean something. But in the internet world, 
I guess the words don't mean nothing. I guess it's all about perception, uh, you know, as Charleston White said. But words mean something. And so some of those people that attacked you, and if you are a true supporter of Bus Life, you don't have to attack somebody that said or did something with something that you don't like. You could just walk away. I didn't attack Skinny to say what I was saying. I said, this don't mess with my brand and I was willing to walk away. When you worth the salt on your back, you don't gotta argue because somebody did you wrong. You walk away. He's he's actually trying to give, you know, self-talk some advice that you just walk away. You don't participate in the beef stuff because you see what beef stuff. I, I'm not even going to say beef, but YouTube confrontation, right? You, YouTube confrontation. You see some people take it too far. They can't leave it between the content creators. They got to involve mothers, fathers, daddies, grandmas, all that extra stuff. So, you know, you don't always have to involve yourself, which is true. So, you know, it just is, it is what it is. But it's just funny how Kwame was trying to give self-talk some advice before self-talk did what he did. So, I think some of it is what they designed it to do. They designed to break up the whole <laughs> We the people. It definitely did. You know, um, it definitely did. And, you know, that's, you know, one one little thing I was disappointed in. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of people got caught in the crossfire and people didn't really catch on to what was being done. I already knew what was being done. I, I, I knew what was being done when I was the fake Kwame Brown supporter, right? <laughs> yeah. The fake Kwame. It was so funny listening to the actual quake, fake Kwame Brown supporter talking about <laughs> the fake Kwame Brown supporter. And, and now it's, it's funny hearing self-talk trying to point out that I'm the fake Kwame Brown supporter too. So what it sounds like, it sounds like self-talk is literally just piggybacking off of Mr. Skinny and piggybacking off of what anybody is saying which is which is unfortunate because the last thing self-talk you should do is align yourself up with people like that those are the wrong type of people that you want to align yourself with because i can tell some of their behavior and some of their actions is starting to rub off on you because that's your new click now and it's starting to show but I already knew that people was trying to divide people and uh, things like that. And, and, you know, people people are still trying to divide people and try to make random videos, trying to make people go against other people. Go, and right now it's not working and it's not going to work on my end. You know, what I mean, it's, it's definitely not going to work on my end. If somebody comes at me, um, it's because I don't know. I, I don't know. But. It's not going to be on my end, you know what I'm saying? Like me going at somebody that Kwame is cool with. Like, I don't take no personal shots at anybody. I don't have no beef with anybody other than one person. Like, beef, beef, you know what I'm saying? But, which is true. And and in this video that I made five days ago, before Self Talk even made this video, I said that, you know, people are trying to create division and separation within you know people that are cool with Kwame Brown so they're just trying to stir up any type of beef and I said that it's not going to work and it's not working especially with a nigga like me there's no way well you can try but I'm very good at YouTube myself and I pay attention to yo I, I am a, I am an amazing ghost watcher trust me I see everything I watch everything. I don't. I just. Hey, I, I'm. I'm probably one of the best ghost watchers of all time. I see and I watch everybody, so I know exactly what everybody's doing. I'm just not saying nothing. I'm just chilling in the background, just taking notes. <laughs> and then they have these trolls and bots that think like they're the Kwama Knights, and then they go and they disrespect you. Mm. And so instead of you just talking to me. You get this animosity mm -hmm. because of how people are attacking. Yeah. 
just know that everybody on these chats are not real people. Facts. Don't allow the chats and what people are saying in the chats to control your decisions and start trying to defend yourself when I never said specifically you did anything. <clears throat> that's 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 one thing that is very true you know what i mean some people on youtube they take their comments and they take the trolling they don't know how to handle it so when they get trolled and when they get negative comments a lot they kind of react to those comments instead of just you know what i mean just being true to themselves so they feel like they have to uh defend themselves and they feel like they have to prove to the trolls and prove to the haters that yo i'm not this or i'm not that or or if 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 people are feeding a whole bunch of nonsense in your ear some people start believing that nonsense in in your ear and then you don't even realize that you just got played you know what i mean like they just they just been spitting lies in your ear for you to go at at war with somebody and, and that's what a lot of people uh a lot of people get played on on youtube because they listen to one particular person or they listen to the um trolls or they listen to the people in the chat and they pump up their head and they pump up their head to make them believe that this person is you know this person should get attacked this person is not with you this person is clowning you when really it's just people just trying to antagonize and instigate and start a beef that's a smart man right there i don't know who this handsome young fella is right here but this man right here is a wise man y'all should follow his youtube channel if you new to this young man's over here youtube channel over here in the in the red hat y'all should follow this man he he's speaking some truth over there I think you need to, I think someone really attacked you just like they're doing me and they'll never monetize you. And so they probably took a lot of money from you. And maybe you were in a pressure situation because a lot of the money that was being made, self-talk wasn't making it for eight, nine months. He wasn't. They, they made sure they kept their foot on self-talk net so that they can cause this division. <clears throat> so you got to understand and identify who the real enemy is. And it ain't Kwame Brown because he said allegedly. It's the people who started this. What did we say? What were we showing? What were we proving that was right? <coughs> Excuse me. Was it the trade Nick code? <coughs> See, we never asked this, right? Was it the trading and coding that made them so upset that they had to find out who self-talk self -talk is? Was it the trading and coding that they had to send a chain gang sissy hmm. that is used to destroying people's brand and pages? Was it the good editing when we showed that the media just lied and there's some script reading bitches and that they control the narrative of black male images and that they lower the contracts and that self-talk editing skills were so good and my words with it was making every black male and every woman think about how they laugh in a barbershop. Right. Think about the words that Stephen A was saying and how it can affect another man instead of just laughing alone. So self-talk, I want you to think about not defending yourself. And Listen, self-talk, Kwame Brown was trying to help you. Kwame Brown trying to give you some advice. But it's unfortunate, you know, you chose your self. You chose your, you chose to align yourself with um, individuals that just love the beef. And I think by you aligning yourself with these individuals now, you're kind of um, just imitating and piggybacking off of what they do. All they do is just beef, 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 beef. Every single video is beef, 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 beef. And it seems like that's where you're headed. But Kwame Brown was trying to help you to prevent of doing that. It's a shame, bro.
just laughing alone. So self-talk, I want you to think about not defending yourself and think about rebranding yourself. As far as doing what, well, I don't know if that was Mr. Fair Use of Carcino last night, because it's kind of strange that if Carcino is Mr. Fair Use, then he, he Harry Houdini, because Mr. Fair Use had a great live last <laughs> night with a great panel. And uh, Ronald Jones, you funny as a motherfucker. <laughs> You was on there, you got your ass kicked when she asked you a real question. <laughs> Talking about geeks, or uh, just in South Carolina. You ain't never been to Sapelo Island, boy. It's a whole island full of gullah geeks. And no, we wasn't slaves, homeboy. That's why I say we just different. And gullah geeky is not just the way you sound. Most geeks try not to sound like that because they assume that you're uneducated. In the business world, they try to force that speak and that dialect out of you because it, they think that you're uneducated when you speak like that. So when you go around your Geechee people, you'll end up falling back talking like that, but that don't have nothing to do with being Geechee, sir. But I can tell, man, you want to be cool with me. You all right, man. I'm still tying your ass out sometimes just because I like trolling you too. But yeah, man. It, it, it's just mm, mm, mm. the attacks that, that have been coming along with one man self-talk you gotta really you gotta really really think why what can we learn from this what is the teachable moments that I was talking about the whole time okay so most spirits can learn from this that the next time you do a banging song like that you immediately go copyright it okay. and if you need self-talk to go copyright it you get self-talk to copyright all your music. Cause that means everything on your page is in jeopardy. You have a lot of good music. That means any edit that you do, somebody can go steal. And that's what Gilbert and Tammy has been teaching. So now everybody can learn. Whatever edits that you do and it's music and it sounds good, copyright. Let's use this for good instead of division. Because I believe they're afraid of something. I believe they're afraid of something. And AK, I tried to call you behind the scenes. Uh, shit, I don't know if my number can call your number, shit. But uh, I'll try to score your number <laughs> in so you can call and you can <coughs> ring because I got no do not disturb because some bitch leaked my number and then blurred it out and then YouTube playing games allegedly, I think I snapped. But self-talk, try to just think without emotions, without thinking that I dox you because of what fans or bots are saying, because I really think that's what's driving all of this division is the comment section. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't listen to the comment section. If you know you didn't do anything and you was editing those videos and your belief was that what I was saying is true and not following the man, you keep doing what you're doing. I don't know you personally. I haven't stole no money from you. You ain't stole no money from me. I don't know what happened for sure, 100%. I never said I did. I know some, I know some people, 100%, from the Discord. I wish I could show it, because I can't really show it. A lot of people was in that Discord. I don't know if they heard the plan, but a lot of people was in that Discord. I can read some more Discord right now. Some new Discord. But they're afraid of what this page and this channel and us people were thinking and talking about. People were talking about buying land. Carcino did a show. You, you guys need to go look at it. I think that's about it. I think that's all that he said about self-talk. Let me just skim through it real quick. It's either on Carcino. That's black. My name all the time. Let me bring 
I just talked to one. We're gonna go bass fishing when I go back home. Yeah, so I, I think I think that's 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 all that he said about self talk right there. And I just want to highlight this section. Um, like I said, I personally don't have no beef with self talk at all even though i know he took plenty of shots at me and he made a video about me and all that stuff it's cool brother i mean it, it's 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 cool on my end like you'll you'll never well it's just it's just cool on my end you know what i'm saying and um as i said in my previous video you know it is un unfortunate that self-talk and Kwame brown are, are no longer uh working together because they were like batman and robin you know what i'm saying they were like batman and robin but you know i guess you know um it's it is what it is you know what i mean it is what it is and you know down the line you can see you know af after the breakup happened you know you starting to see who supports who now you know what i mean like there's there's certain people that just completely did a 360 and now everybody is supporting the person that's getting attacked you know what i mean now you see people supporting people that they normally wasn't supporting all because of the breakup you know what i'm saying so um you know, it, it just, it just, it is what it is, man. So, like I said, I personally don't have nothing against self talk. So, you know, but I, I just want to uh, highlight this section, and um, I want, I want to hear y'all opinion down below, man. What do y'all think about this whole situation? Um, and I just want to highlight this section of uh, Kwame Brown speaking on, speaking on self talk. So, other than that, man, it's your boy Damn D P O B. We shining out, baby. Peace. All right, so there we go, man. So, like I said, this video was previously recorded five days ago, way before Self Talk made a dedicated video about me trying to expose me. And in that video, I said I had no beef with Self Talk. I, I have no current feelings about Self Talk. I wish Self Talk the best. I, I said I wish Self Talk the best and many success. And in this video, that I was going to post. I think I was going to post it like either Saturday or Sunday, but I got busy. I want to highlight this section because I want to highlight, you know, Kwame Brown is pretty much, you know, trying to help out self-talk, you know, even through all the stuff, even though Kwame Brown already apologized, he made a, a video and I highlighted that. I highlighted Kwame Brown apologizing to self-talk, but it seemed like self-talk, you know, he just, wants the beef right now it seemed like he has more videos coming out on me i can't wait to see him because i'm just gonna respond to him and the videos that i'm making about self-talk now is just a response right i, I would have never made any videos that i've made currently about, about self-talk if he didn't make that video about me trying to expose me so i'm just uh defending my name and responding back to his inaccurate information <laughs> and like i said i just want to highlight this because in this video kwame brown was trying to give self-talk some advice he was trying to help out self-talk but now we know self-talk don't fuck with kwame brown right that's what he said in the video that i posted yesterday he said i don't fuck with kwame brown or me and kwame brown cool hell no it is what it is, but it's just unfortunate. Like I said, it seems like self-talk is aligning himself with very toxic people and that and their behavior is starting to rub off on him. And now it seems like he's about to go in the lane of making videos and try to expose people and try to, you know, try to create separation. That's what I feel like that he's trying to do. He's trying to create separation in between you know, people that are cool with Kwame Brown, which is very expected. I, I, I already predicted that. And so far I've been right. So I'm just going to sit back and wait to see what self-talk has to say. You know, if he doesn't make any more videos, cool. But if he does, I'll be watching and I will rebuttal. Matter of fact, I have another video coming up today defending myself on, you know, I did try to warn Kwame Brown. So I have more proof and more text messages and more emails of me trying to warn Kwame Brown about Mr. Skinny because according to self-talk, 
I didn't try to warn them. <laughs> but anyway, y'all leave a comment down below and y'all let me know how you feel about this. Like I said, very unfortunate to see the new direction that self-talk is uh, going to, but maybe this is what he wants. But just, <laughs> just be careful, self-talk. The people that you are friends with now, <laughs> this, those are some of the biggest snakes on YouTube. But hey, do what you do, my brother. <laughs> I wish you the best. I'm out.